correct me if I'm wrong, I wasn't on the last group date, but you guys obviously expressed to both Petey and I that, that there were some people who were kind of, I wouldn't say taking the piss, but more playing the game. I'm really concerned that old habits die hard and her yeah. being attracted to the same type of guy yep. that she dated last time. And that's what I wanted to get across to Ali, that those type of people may not be best suited to her. That's so true. So there's a lot of beef with Nathan at the moment, obviously with him spreading rumours about Ali and Grant. What about some threesome? Why is he even one talking about this? Has he got more interest in Ali's past or he was, does he actually want to get to know Ali now? It's, it's a hard one, boys. Like, does Ali have the right to know and who should it come from? I uh, want to approach it, but how, how do you approach it? Yeah, well, it's hard. It's a hard subject to approach. There's clearly some people in here that aren't here for the right reasons. And it's scary that Ali's not seeing it and someone's going to have to tell her. Good evening. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> Missed you guys. Welcome. Oh, Ali looked FIT. She looks very, very good. Beautiful blonde hair, blue eyes. Wait, am I describing myself? Hang on. I think I just described myself. I'm actually going to steal you away, Nathan. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ali walks in oh, and straight away takes Nathan. Charlie's fuming inside. Like, you can see it on his face. So have you been going since our group date? Very well, actually. Yeah, that's good. Well, I want to know more about you. And, like, I think that you're, like, really deep and there's so much more to you and I haven't even, like, scratched the surface. Like, I'm so happy that you see that. I definitely see that. Yeah, I just want to know more. That's amazing. Nathan's, you know, not here for Ali one little bit. He's clearly here for himself. And this afternoon, while I was sitting by the pool, he starts ragging about how he has inside information about rumours about Ali and stuff that was in the media that she had done, which really was degrading towards her and trying to emphasise to us that they're true. It was, it was disgusting. And I feel like she needs to know this. And if it's going to come from anyone, it needs to come from me. What are you thinking, Charlie? I can see you ticking over, brother. My mind's running wild, you know. I want Ali to know the truth, but I just don't know how to approach this. Charlie? I like those hands. <laughs> oh, you do. Come for a chat? Yeah, of course. Okay. You know, Nathan and Bill are blinding her and clouding her judgment and telling her what she wants to hear to benefit themselves. And this is a girl who's fallen for this before in the past, and in my mind, she's falling for it again. And then that hurts me. I care about her a lot, and I feel like, you know, she needs to be sort of protected here. How have you been? Um. I have been um, caught up. Yeah, it's like that. Yeah, and I feel like we really need a good check-in mm -hmm. because um, I want to see how you're feeling. I'm semi-confused um, for different reasons. Yeah. You know, I suppose like it's not normal to, 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 to go on an amazing date with someone. Yeah. And then not have contact for three weeks. Yeah, and then see her go on other dates. Well, that's the other thing. So you said to me you're looking for actions, not intentions. Mm. I believe you may be falling for intentions again. This is exactly what I need to know. I need to know if there are people in here that are disingenuous. At that group day, that whole day was about compatibility. Yeah. Okay. In my eyes, there was a small handful of guys that were telling you what you wanted to hear and not what was actually them. Could you see that on the day? Or yeah, that's Get Bill, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Is there anyone else other than Bill that you see? Okay, oh, Nathan. Nathan. So, some back in the pool, he starts spreading rumours about you that spread in the media. And not only that, he made up stories that he knows people that are your friends, apparently, that emphasised that the rumours were true. So not only did he say the rumours, he tried to make us believe that the rumours were actually true about you and he knew people. Disgusting rumours, by the way. Let me, Adam. I'm serious. Like, let me. You OK? The fact that Nathan decided to bring all these rumours up about Grant and I, even though he doesn't have any idea what went on, infuriates me, but also really disrespects me, and I am not letting it slide for a second. My God, where the hell is Nathan? She knows now, and I spilled it. She needed to know, man. Takes a true man. Nathan. Yes. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm just wondering what you were speaking about to the guys 
around the pool about me. What? I heard you were saying really disgusting things about me this afternoon. And I want to know what it is that you were saying. Holy crap, I can, okay. Before you just jump to conclusions, uh, there's a lot of things that get thrown around in this house. <laughs> It's I'm really odd. up front and I'm just going to say what I feel. Absolutely, and this absolutely. this is what I've heard. If, if you can't tell me honestly what's happened, then I don't think we can move on. So please tell me. OK. So there was, like, conversation about the rumours, obviously, that yeah. you... Yeah. There was all of that. I was told that you went over to LA yeah. and then something happened. There was, yeah. like, some... Like, I, I don't want to... Like, I really don't want to go into detail. Yeah, I'm the sorry. Rumors. I, I really don't The rumours, okay. yeah. But, like, I, I just said, like, this is what... S some people have said this, some people have said that. Mm. Yeah, but why are you talking, like, really in a negative way towards me? I don't get it. I genuinely promised you that I haven't been talking sickly or... But, like, so why are people saying that you're saying horrible things about me? Well, do you want to... Do, do you and I want to go and talk to the person? I can't defend myself unless I know what was... what I said. Yeah, okay, yeah. I think we should do that, actually. Let's go. No! It's about to go away. No! It's about to go away. It's hard enough to have all those horrible allegations out in the media about my last relationship with Grant. And I'm very aware that people want to know my side of the story, but I'm doing this to focus on my future, not to focus on my past. So it's extremely annoying for Nathan to be bringing it all up again. Nate did something about what happened in LA with her ex, and, and Nate was talking about what he heard and what he knows about like friends that are that are mates with Ali. And Charlie fired up, obviously. Are you kidding? Kidding? Obviously, no, no, I'm just... I want to know, like, what things he said about me. Okay. Why are you saying horrible things about me? No way! I know exactly what you said, okay. and I'll repeat it if you really want me. What you did say was quite... It, I didn't like it. I know Charlie didn't like it. I said, I said what I had heard, but that was not the first thing that was said. I doubt that. Nathan's doing classic Nathan. He's backpedalling as hard as he can. He's stumbling his words. He can't get a definitive answer. We were all sitting down, and the conversation was brought up. And I said, I, I, hundred, I, I will not. Why would any of us bring that up? You can see it in her eyes. Ali is generally hurt by this. No, Ali. Yeah. Can I take you away from everything? Yeah, please. It's all right. Yeah. Whether you heard something or not, oh, man, you shouldn't be talking it. about yeah, that. True, true, true. Charlie, I said a rumor that I was told. It was disgusting. It was f***ed. You know how I feel about it. OK, that's There's a girl I've got a connection that's, with in your bag and around in front of me. Of course I'm going to f***ing call oh. you out any day of the week, mate. And now it's come out, it's been questioned you, about it, and please, you know what I'm like? If someone asks me a question, I f***ing give them the answer and I gave you the please, answer. Can you please just, t like, just relax no, a little bit? No, because you're annoying me the fact that you talked your way out of it and bullshit and clouded her judgment again. This is a girl that has been absolutely destroyed by men in the past taking advantage of her, and you're taking advantage of her by lying to her face. I'm not lying to her. You backpedaled. I did not just go. Yeah, I said it. I f***ed up. I, I told her up in that I moment. said it, mate. You didn't. I just heard you. Did I not just say that I said it? Yeah, but tiptoed around it as in I like. I said. It was... I said it, but I said it. This is what I was told. Worry about yourself. I am. And no, no, you're not. Because am I? every time you go and talk, obviously you went and talked to Ali and said, "Oh, Nathan said this." Did I, did I do that? Just worry about your connection. With I am, Ali, I am and that's about all. That. I am worried about that, and I'm yeah, thinking I know. Myself, you are so I'm worried about that that you have to uh, bring everyone else down. You know yes, what, it is. You know what? Because I'm here for me, I'm here for Ali. If any of you guys aren't here for the right reasons, there's the f door. Guess what, mate? Yeah. There's the f door, because exactly. you're not here for her. You're spreading rumors about her. You're a yeah. pretender. It's, it's it. And you've been caught out on it. I really, really feel sorry for Ali if she ever, ever ends up with you, because you're a spiteful and jealous person and I and Am I'm I really? sorry yes of 110 percent and I'll I'll take that to my grave. You're a spiteful piece of shit. Thanks mate, no worries. Yeah, good on you. Yeah, legend. Oh, it's probably best to stop there anyway. Yeah. I'm starting to get a bit out of hand, you know. <laughs>